So over time, I've had a lot of subscribers and other people just saying to me, Jamie, can you do a setup guide on Sega Model 3? And what I've done is just come up with the best solution for this. And I've actually come across a real good way of getting you up and running where it actually looks nice rather than using CMD and typing in commands, that type of thing. So in this video, I'm going to show you which files you need and how to get best video settings and generally just get your all round great experience with Supermodel as it's known as. So let's check this video out. Okay, so before I start this setup guide, just let me ask you if you can hit the notifications so you get my emulation content as I upload it and you don't miss out. Also hit subscribe button if you like today's video. So first of all, I'm going to let you know that links are in my description. And what we're going to do is firstly head over to Launchbox Forum. Now you do need to sign up with this and it's absolutely free. And I'm also going to make you aware that this isn't my work, but this is a bit of research i done to get us and myself the best performance possible so we got our author here of all this work and you can read about his work in more detail and it really is some substantial work and effort this coder is put into this project so what i'm going to do first to get these spells up together and get you up and running is go over to this website this is mucr.com uh, first of all we need to download the latest supermodel git so i've looked through this and this is the latest one as i'm recording this video so we got supermodel git 2023 05 16 if i just click on this link and what i'm going to do is download model git so that's going to download so once that's been downloaded, you're going to download a zipped folder. Let's just drag this one onto the desktop for now and let's see what's inside of here. So we got a few different folders and a few text documents. So what I'm going to do is just create a new folder for this folder and I'm going to just call this one model three. And what I'm going to do is just highlight all of these contents and drag it into that model three folder I've just created. Let's close this one down and we can also delete this supermodel zip folder I've just downloaded also. Next up, we're going to head back over to Launchbox Forum and there's a few download files that we're going to need for this. So if we just go down to download this file. Now, the ones you need to download just here for this setup guide is going to be the NVRAM zip. And we're also need to go back to download file and also download X input. So if you find your controllers aren't working, then rather than downloading the X input, go to the D input. But I think in most cases, X input should be fine. So let's download that one. Okay, so once you've downloaded the X input INI and the NVRAM, what we're gonna do is just open up the model free folder we've just downloaded. And we're going to firstly open up this NVRAM zip file. And what I'm going to do is just literally copy by pressing Ctrl and A all of the files inside of this NVRAM zip folder and just drag and drop them into the model free NVRAM. So you've now got lots of different files inside. If we back out of model free and we just close down this. We also downloaded X input in, obviously that's for a controller. So let's just open this one up. And what we're gonna do with this one is if we open up the config folder inside of model three, what I'm gonna do is just drag and drop this X input in inside here and just replace the file in the destination, that's fine. Okay, next up, we're gonna to go to the Sega Model 3 UI link, and obviously the link for this one is in my description. And this is the latest version by the seams of recording this video, and we got a choice of source where to download this from. So Sega Model 3 UI is the user interface, of course, and it's gonna give you a nice window. Rather than using command prompting, entering commands, we're not really sure what we're doing with. So there's a choice here where to download Sega Model 3 UI from. So just choose one of these 
And once you've downloaded that Sega Model 3 UI, it's going to be in the zip folder. Let's just open this up and open up this folder. Now, what we need to do just here is actually copy and paste a few of these folders into the Model 3 folder that I've created. So we're just going to highlight include snaps folder and Sega UI XC. So again, I've just pressed control on my keyboard and press a left click. I'm pressing Sega Model 3 UI. I'm pressing snaps and include and that's going to highlight all three. We're going to just drag and drop these into the Model 3 folder. And that's it. So we can now get rid of that zip folder. And we're going to open up Sega Model 3 UI, and this is going to open up the interface. If you should get Windows protected your PC, then just go to more info and run anyway. And here we go. This is your Model 3 UI. So we're going to see lots of games on there. And just bear in mind, this doesn't include any games. You're going to need to source your own games or buy them from whoever sells them. But I'm going to show you how to set one game up here with some video settings. So let's just close down this Sega Model 3 UI and what I'm going to do is use a game called Scud for this. So if I go back into my Model 3 folder and I go into ROMs folder, what I'm going to do is just drag my Scud game inside of here. If I back out and open up Sega Model 3 UI again, so what we're going to do once we're back inside of Sega Model 3 UI is we're going to link up the ROMs directory for games so what we're going to do is just head over to desktop where my model 3 folder is as we can see it's just here and i'm going to highlight roms which is where my scud game is and press ok next up we need to talk about screen resolutions now on my particular laptop screen i find that the only resolution which is going to work for me without causing some weird uh, flicky discoloration where it's unplayable uh, the only resolution here i find which actually works for me is the 1920 by 1200 so i'm going to select this one and what i'm going to do next is just press on these two dots and custom resolution save now just bear in mind that resolutions are different across all boards of screens and tvs so it might be a case of you just going through each one of these and picking which one is going to work for you so next up what i'm going to do is if i scroll down this list I've got my scud grade scheme in place as we can see so i'm going to open up this one just double left click and allow access now many model 3 games are a little bit fussy how they're set up so by pressing six on my keyboard it's going to bring me into the test menu and by pressing five on my keyboard this particular game scud is asking me to go to game assignments so if i just press five to go down to game assignments and press six to enter it this particular game is asking link id so what i'm going to do is change this one to single and i'm going to press five to go back down to exit and five to go back down to exit again and six So I press escape then to come out. So uh, let's talk about the actual screen settings itself. So on the UI here, we have widescreen, widescreen background, stretch, and we've got a few other options we can play around with. So I'm going to try and make this as good as I can. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select widescreen. I'm also going to try stretch on this, and I'm also going to hit multi-texture. Let's open up Scud Race again.
that's it from my Sega Model 3 setup guide today. And I just want to say thanks to the man who put this together over on Launchbox. Your work is greatly appreciated. On behalf of myself and a lot of our people who struggle to get Model 3 games up and running. So if you like this video, please hit notifications. I cover many different emulation platforms, including Retrobat, Launchbox and beyond is where with many standalone emulators. Also hit subscribe and be sure to check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. But until next time, stay retro.